Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Christine here at The Freckled Princess. Like always, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, here we go. So today we are working on a Linda Belcher Disney bound, or as they call it because she's not a Disney character, a rule breaker bound. So I have all the items that I want to use already laid out. Some of the crafting has already been started simply because I did not want to bore you with everything and how um, much trial and error it took. Surprisingly, the years that I was working on did not take that much time. So I'm pretty excited because they look really, really good. I just have to glue on the items. I'm watching my puppy try to jump on the table here. What you doing? Oh, nothing. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the items that we will be wearing. So I have a couple options for the red top that she wears. I know that she wears a long sleeve sweater. Um, I couldn't find anything that I loved. So my go-to place for color basics um, is definitely Sedaka. So I really liked this little top here. It was $16.50 and I love that it's a bolero style. So I can just button it at the top and leave it open. I can close it all the way. I had to make sure that it closed all the way so in case I need to use this for another bound. I can also use this for a Winnie the Pooh bound, red top. I have a yellow skirt. So for the dress, I didn't want to wear blue pants because I don't ever feel very comfortable in pants. So I don't own a lot. So I didn't want to purchase something that I wasn't going to wear again. Now this you guys have already seen as my bell bound and as my Prince Adam or Beast bound. This is a blue dress I also purchased at the thrift store that has gotten a lot of use. Now, if you don't already know this trick, you are going to love me for this. So you can wear a dress like this and I can wear the red sweater over it. But if I end up wearing, of course, the kitties want to scratch, <laughs> get little manicures right now, sorry. Um, what you do is make sure because it's already tight on you. And I do this too. If I try something out at the thrift store and it doesn't quite fit, like it won't zip up my back. I will turn the top of the dress in and guess what you guys you have a skirt so this skirt with either this top or this top <laughs> just kind of depends but um, that's a nice little trick I just recently purchased a red dress that did not fit but it went up to the waist so this is what we've got we are headed into home depot so we can get um some spray paint for my linda belcher glasses because the ones that i found were black and i need them to be red so here we go home depot lowe's any of those shops will be your best friend because they will have a huge variety of colors i asked this guy for the brightest red possible and so this is what he got me. It was a gorgeous, perfect red for her glasses. And they were originally black. And there I am, posing. All right. <laughs> so this is what they look like before. All right, Christine. And this is what we are going to start with, a primer. Let that set for about 15 minutes and then go in with your next color. This is the finished product. It is red all around, but make sure to give it enough time to dry because otherwise you will end up with fingerprints on your spray painted goodies. I also purchased black and red mini ears at Disneyland, white felt, and then cut out letters to place on my ears for my all right Disney ears. While I'm gluing the letters onto my ears, I just wanted to share with you guys the first time Neil and I ever watched Bob's Burgers. I knew exactly what he was going to say because he looked over and he goes, oh my gosh, they followed you for Linda's character, like everything. So I, was, I have a special bond with her. Oh. Okay, you guys ready? This is amazing. So these are the black and red ears. Now I can show you what they looked like before. And let's actually, before I do the big reveal, let's take these off. Let's take this off. So these are fabric scissors. These are meant to cut fabric. Um, so I'll get closer later. Are you guys ready for this? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see all this. I am dying. Yes! <laughs> these are so Linda. 
Okay, so I am going to keep these on because I'm so excited and show you the other goodies that I will be wearing that day. So we've got glasses, we've got either a white apron, depending on if I wear the sweater or not, or a white belt. And then we have, um, I probably will go with the basic Linda cat eye glasses that she has. I also purchased from Nostalgia Vault a long time ago because I love Linda and I know she loves her babies. So I will also be wearing this little guy. I don't know if you guys can see. Look at that, those are her babies. And I also purchased this Casey and the Bear pin. Oh my gosh. So when she posted this, I nearly died, purchased it, and we are going to recreate this photo. This is of the Belcher family down at the pier by their house. So we've got glasses, we've got pins, we've got buttons, we've got options for our outfit, all thrifted um, or very cheaply purchased and things that you can reuse. And then I have these, which I will use forever and ever. All right. So see you guys in the park. I hope you guys enjoyed. And then the only struggle that I have now is if I am going to be able to do my hair just like hers. We'll see. Um, if not, we'll do a version of it. Oh, shoes. So Linda wears yellow shoes. I don't know why. It doesn't match her outfit, but she is a mama who gets things done and she comes last. So I get it. I've seen my mama do that. So we're wearing the either yellow bait shoes that I have probably early on in the day. And then I am taking some flats and insoles and maybe a change of clothes so that I'm a little more comfortable and I can stay for the night for the Main Street Electrical Parade. So I hope to see you guys there. I hope you guys enjoy the video of the Belchers at Disneyland and I will see you guys soon. Mwah! Bye! Ha <laughs> ha!